Carlos and Khalil Davis are known for their outstanding defensive effort on the field, but the Davis brothers have a life beyond football. Growing up in Blue Springs, Missouri, the Davis twins made the tough decision to play out of state for Nebraska. Missouri was our first offer, and they were really good to us, but we just had more of a connection with Nebraska since our uncle played here. So he would take us to a practice, watch a practice, and then he got us up here for camps our freshman year of high school, and that was really fun. And he brought us up on it. We didn't, we didn't know much about Missouri. We kind of knew more about Nebraska. There was just something about Nebraska, man. Uh, Bo Pelini, he, he came to our high school, and he came, he came all the way from here to watch us do drills. Yeah, and he just, you know, he, that meant a lot for him to come out there and do that. And I mean, we love the people here. It was, that was pretty much it for us. We never really thought or talked about going to different schools. Uh, we just knew we wanted to play together and be the same school, probably because of our parents. They didn't, that would be really hard on them to go to two different college games. We just always thought that we wanted to go to the same school. We wasn't, never really had a conversation about splitting it. The Davis brothers have been playing football together for the majority of their life. We picked it up, uh, what was it, second grade, and we just fell in love with the game ever since, and this just kind of took us on this long ride to, to play college football. We just fell in love with the game, and we've been going since second grade, so just fortunate to be able to keep playing. It was always fun because uh, I guess, you know, you always have a friend and sometimes, you know, in Little League, you sometimes jump teams. So I was always with him and so it was always just cool to just play with your brother. Just just having that, that uh, you're like your best friend with you all the time in school, outside of school, it, it's fun. It's because we, we kind of tell what the other one was doing or what they he might be thinking and we kind of feed off each other. Both very competitive. <clears throat> and that, I don't know if that's just the way we grew up, but you know we were always doing stuff together, and it just always became a competition from uh, a young age. And even when we started sports, everything was just a competition. So competition just led to being always trying to be better. It just allowed us to be at an elite level than most people. And we we compete in just about anything, whether it's food, sports. Sometimes my parents would just see how much we could eat. Younger, he could eat more, but now he's bigger. He's bigger than me, but I can eat more than him now. High school, we, our mom never, never let us go out. She just, she was strict on us. She didn't let us do a lot. We stayed in the house. We just couldn't do a lot of the stuff that, you know, most kids got to do, but it paid off. I don't know, we just kind of focused on sports at, at the time and just school, and then she kind of let us loose when we got to college. And Besides being focused on football, the Davis brothers have found many hobbies they enjoy. We fish a lot. Right now we're not because it's in season, but in the summer, you know, we fish, play Fortnite, watch movies. We're just doing outdoor stuff. We're just adventuring, finding new spots to fish. Fishing, that's the biggest part. Uh, if we're not on the football field or in the weight room, you'll probably find us somewhere out on a lake or a pond trying to go fish. So, you know, if you guys know any good spots to go, there's a lot of stuff. After changes of coaching staffs and adjusting to different defensive schemes, they have overcame the adversity and earned their black shirt. It was it was a great feeling. I, did, I, I, I didn't even recognize it when it was at my locker because my locker's so messy and it, I thought it was just another piece of clothing hanging on my locker. I looked up, I kind of double, took a double take, saw my black shirt and kind of lost it. It was definitely a good feeling to get it. It was awesome. It's a great feeling just to know that uh, you're deserving of a black shirt because it's, it's hard to get. Um, the culture has changed a lot. Uh, Scott Frost, he did a good job of letting us know what the standard was, or his standard was of being a Nebraska football player in the Nebraska way. So he came in and, uh, and implemented that as soon as he got here. So we've just been learning from that and it's changed a lot. A football is a, we call it a game of life. There's so much that football can teach a person on and off the field. It just teaches you a lot about life and you know decisions you'll have to make outside when you're done. The Davis brothers are finishing their junior season and together look to leave their mark on Nebraska football as one of the rare sets of twins playing college football.